cách ngàn dặm xa chàng ơi đã có cùng ta vòng tay một thuở thân ngà ấp yêu so he probably have brahman disciples and uh, muslim disciples or uh, any other old traditional religion but they became buddha's disciples but as the buddha was not like a dictator he let any of his disciples continue to follow their religion just like in our initiation uh, condition i say that you continue to follow your religion and do whatever you do with the ritual of your religion you don't have to change anything and just like in our group we have muslim initiates we have buddhist initiates we have <laughs> Jane initiates all are your brothers and sisters or so-called my disciples and maybe we have uh, Baha'i faith initiates we have also even Kaudai disciples who come into our fold we have also maybe Wahao Buddhist followers who came to us for initiation to have the transmission of the spiritual bloodline yes lineage but they still continue to go to their church to their temples uh, meeting maybe their elders their monks and nuns whoever they want to meet and they still go to the temple help the abbot the monks or the priests or some christians continue to be christians and they still continue to go to their church and do whatever they like to do in the church but they should meditate the uh, designated hours, the two and a half hours. We should give one-tenth of our time daily for our enlightenment purpose. We want to continue to walk upward. We just take baby steps and get enlightenment, immediate enlightenment, where you can see the inner light of heaven, uh, the aura around the Buddha in your vision, you can hear the melodious word from God, the teaching of heaven directly. So that is your enlightenment, but it's not a complete enlightenment. It takes some more time. It depends on how much you have practiced in your former life already. Then you go further, you go faster, or you go slower. It depends also on your diligence, your sincerity, your longing to go back home again to be home with God again, or to be in the Buddha's land again. But for that, you need a teacher, because that real master, real teacher, doesn't just teach you by mouth only. As I told you, some people went and pay homage to the Buddha and just listen to the Buddha sermon once, and then they have attained some of the high saintly positions, some a little lower, some a little higher. It's not because the Buddha was talking only, but because the Buddha transmitted to them his bloodline, spiritual bloodline, from his lineage that he has learned and has mastered himself. If Shekamani Buddha had many different uh, religious backgrounds of disciples, and if one of the different religious background disciples had become completely enlightened or the successor of Sekamuni Buddha. Maybe this person was not living with the Buddha and was not the monk of the Buddha, but he was somewhere else on the other side of the country or even in another country. Then, according to his masters, the Buddha's order, he would either give initiation in his hometown or anywhere else, and keep the appearance of his own religious background. So people come there to get enlightenment. I don't have to see a person from a different religious order, like the Buddhas. So the new so-called disciples of this successor will not see a Buddhist monk, but may see a Brahman missioner or Christian a priest, for example, like that. 
that doesn't mean that priest or that uh, missioner does not have enlightenment lineage from the Buddha. It just he looks different because the enlightenment lineage is from inside, just like the blood in your veins. This is an invisible spiritual blood vein, so you will not see. So it doesn't matter if a master has the same religion as the founder or not, like that disciple of the Buddha from a different religious background. He will not look like a Buddhist monk. He doesn't look like one of the Buddha's monks. He might wear the Christian clothes uh, of a priest, or he might just wear a Brahmin kind of uh, traditional dress, or he might just wear ordinary clothes, but he is enlightened and he is a successor. So this here is the problem with many people who want enlightenment so much, I want to have a master, but they're always looking in their own religious system, like a Buddhist would go look for a monk, <laughs> a Christian would go look for a priest, and same with many other religions. It's like the river, it doesn't have to flow in the same direction all the time. Sometimes it goes underground and then comes up again in another location. And you might think that is a different river, but it is the continuation of the original river, high above from some mountain somewhere. So if people have an open mind and they are really sincere in their heart, then they will meet their master. Do not look at the appearance of the master. Look into his soul, look to his experience of the spiritual way. Look to see if he can bless you. Look to see if he can lead you home, give you enlightenment. Enlightenment means light, and light to light, you see? So if he could give you immediate enlightenment, just like the way we do with the Kuan Yin method, then you will see the Buddha's light, God's light, or whatever name you call it. And then you will know that that Master is capable. Or he can help you to hear the inner heavenly melody, the inner sound, the sound of no sound. That is how you know that Master is truly, completely enlightened or at least an official successor of the enlightened master. In the Holy Bible, the disciples hear the sound of thunder where there was no thunder, the sound of a trumpet where there was no trumpet, the sound of many waters where there was no water, a river or ocean. They see light as bright as fire where there was just a fresh living bush. In the Buddhist Diamond Sutra, Buddha said, Do not look for appearance or sound from the outer world, because one cannot see the Buddha there. The Kuan Yin Method gives you immediate inner experiences of the inner world, of inner light without light, of inner sound, without sound, is all from God's direct inner teaching, from Buddha's direct inner teaching. That's what you must know to be liberated in one lifetime, in this lifetime. Even in the Dhamma and in time, in such a desperate, troublesome and dangerous time as our time, when Milaruba went to seek enlightenment with Amapa, he couldn't wait much longer because Mapa, the master, kept testing him, making him do all kinds of work, labor, work hard work, building one shed after another, one house after another. That's it, didn't teach him anything. And then beat him up also, and he had scars and was wounded and bleeding. And the wife of Maba, the master, felt very sorry for Milarupa. So she 
fake a letter <laughs> as if the master, Mava, her husband, had written it and give it to Mila Ruba to go to find his appointed, designated disciple in some other place nearby, another village or another city, and give him that letter saying that the master wanted him to give initiation to this person, Milarepa. So that disciple did that, but Milarepa had no experience at all of the inner heavenly light and of the words of the Buddhas or God inside him. So that designated disciple who could give initiation had doubt. He suspected that maybe Mapa, the original master, did not give permission. So later that's how they found out that it was true like that. It was just his wife who felt sorry for Milarepa and was touched by his sincere and humble longing for initiation. So she faked the letter. At the end, finally, Milarupa had the initiation, and at that time, he had inner experiences, just like the way you, the initiated people, do. Mm. Sometimes there are fake masters possessed by demon, some high demon, and that demon can make you feel like this master is real. They just use some magic power, you know, to temporarily lure you into thinking, oh, I feel something. So this must be a master. It's not like that. So the real master truly is also hard to find. <laughs> and I hope he or she won't beat you up like Mahapa did to Milarupa and then just give you enlightenment immediately the way I give it to my own disciples. So it depends on your luck, hey? Okay, but the criteria is that you have to see the light of heaven and hear the voice of heaven, the word of God, the teaching of the Buddha directly. That's the criteria. Hmm. Mm-hmm. 